So now it's the day after we have helped uh, Tallow and the monkey, and so you will see a nice overview of Ordon Ranch, and Link is sitting there enjoying the breeze and the sunshine, I guess. And uh, then he'll look down and see that Fado is running towards him, and so he stands up. So it looks like Fado is, uh, he's, he comments to Link, he says, oh, well, you're going to go, so how about uh, hurting the goats one last time? So next thing you want to do is you want to pick up the horse grass to uh, play a Pona song of sorts, and then uh, this will make a Pona come to you so that you can herd the goats. Now one thing to mention real quick too is that you can get on a Pona from the side, but you can also get on, to, on her from behind and Link will like hop over her and get into the saddle. And this gives you like a running start. And uh, it didn't work right now of course because we were talking to Fado, but in, in general you can use that to just a little tip for you in order to quickly get moving, um, like, like especially when you're on the run or you have a time limit or whatnot. So now this, uh, this time around we have the goats and we have uh, a time limit of sorts. We're trying to see how fast you can do it. Uh, but also, there's uh, 20 of them this time, rather than just 10, like there was before. So we have quite a few more goats this time to work with. Uh, in any case, like I say, you want to kind of use a swooping motion to kind of get them in the right direction, and then you want to use the whoop button. If you whoop before they are facing the correct direction, then you will often get them to go like in the opposite area that you want them to go. For example, I accidentally hit some of those goats over here, and they are facing the wrong direction now because I whooped when they were facing sideways instead of towards the barn. In any case, this time I didn't do too great. Uh, generally I do this like almost within 60 seconds usually. Um, this time I didn't really do so hot. In any case, you want to chase after them and uh, like I say, you just want to get them facing the right direction, then use the whoop. So like you'll see here, I followed them around and then I started whooping at them. And this one, come back. There we go. Yay! After this little scene, then Fado will once again set up the fences again so that you can jump over them and have more practice. So this time around you actually have a couple fences to work with. Uh, so you can actually follow this dirt path along the ranch and jump over many fences in a row. Um, I've had enough practice myself, so I'm just going to skip over this part and I'm just going to use my spurs to jump over the gate and get back into the Ordon village. Now as soon as you enter and return back to the village, then you'll see a short scene in which um, Link is returning to the village, Ilya will see him and then call to her father, and then she will run up to see Link. I guess she's excited to see him. I like uh, Maribo's little raised eyebrow thing here. He's all like, eh? Anyway, at this point you actually see Link is talking to Ilya, you can see his mouth moving and stuff. This is the only part of the game where he's doing that, uh, so I'm not sure. He doesn't actually say anything. In any case, uh, he's also silent the rest of the game after this. So he walks up to Maribo and uh, he'll put his arm around him and say, oh hey, you know, we got that royal gift that Russell was going to bring, but you're going to bring it to the royal family instead. And it'd be bad to, uh, if you're going to represent Ordon Village and bring this gift to the Hyrule Castle, that you better be there on time. So Ilya is off uh, petting Epona or whatnot, and then she apparently sees like a little cut or something. I don't know about you guys, but from that little scene, I don't see anything wrong. In any case, then she will scold Link about it and be like, oh my goodness, you can't push a pony that hard by jumping fences and whatnot. So, Maribo will try and defend him, and then she'll scold him too, tell him what a horrible mare he is. <laughs> in any case, uh, Link and Maribo will then, like, kind of look at each other like, oh goodness, like, how can we get in trouble here? I like how Maribo, his, like, eyes aren't open, you know? How is he, like, squinting at Link if his eyes are totally closed? In any case, she then takes a pony off to the spring, and Link and Maribo are kind of left there gaping, and so Bo will be upset and he says, oh well this won't do, we need to get the gift to the royal family on time. So he's not really sure what to do and he just kind of sits there helplessly. So I guess it's up to us, so Link will then, will then regain control of our heroes, so we want to head back to uh, the area around Link's house and just head on through this area. So once you head back into this area, then you want to walk forward, and uh, you'll be interrupted by Colin here, and he will he'll say that uh, Ilya went on ahead, but uh, that Tallow and Mallow are normally, they don't let people through into the into the woods and everything, so uh, he asks like, Link if he can go with him. Uh, in any case, you want to walk over to Tallow and Mallow, and then Tallow will get very excited and say how awesome it was chasing the monkey the other day. And it was so much fun. He's basically lying and saying that he wasn't scared and such. Um, 
So then Mallow will say in his little tiny sarcastic text that <laughs> he's like, oh, so you didn't get caught, huh? So then both Tallow and Mallow will uh, be angry at Colin or whatnot because he uh, he told their told Russell and Russell told Jaggle and Jaggle scolded them. Mallow <laughs> makes the comment that, oh my goodness, I didn't think that my dad would stop talking or whatever. I didn't think I'd ever hear the end of it of him scolding us. In any case, then Tallow changes subjects abruptly and Ask Link if he can borrow the wooden sword. And we like his reaction here. It's like awesome. He's all, yay. Uh, anyway, so then he says that if he had that sword, that he'd show the, the bad guys, you know. So it shows him playing in the background. Colin then gets Link's attention and says, Oh, well, thanks. You know, those guys are always teasing me. He's like, he doesn't understand what, you know, the fascination is with weaponry and all that stuff. But when he grows up, he wants to be just like Link. So... He doesn't care about swords and all that, but he wants to learn how to ride a horse, so he asks that he'll teach him sometime. So with that, he'll run off into the woods, so you want to chase after him, and you can just leave the other guys in the dust.